Another thing that we should really mention here is artist success or success in the field that you're working in and who gets to judge that. Now that the event is wrapped up, how did you relate to the issues that were discussed? Uh, I related in a way where I just fill in the blanks, uh -huh. I see my problems and yeah. see how I can improve on that. And I think it really helped out, but I think everyone, like in music, to make it, it's a journey to self-discovery. Everyone has to go through that. Uh, I think the sheer magnitude of it surprised me a little bit, that we're talking that it's bad, that big an issue, uh, and that many people are struggling. Uh, of course, I knew that in creative industries do have these issues, um, but yeah, the sheer magnitude of it was um, was yeah that, that that was interesting to hear about. And is there anything from tonight's discussion that you're going to take away with you? Uh, yeah, definitely. It's just taking in every small bit of experiences from all these people that have been doing it for 20 years, 40 years, 30 years, long time, and just repeating what they've did because that's what works. It was very particularly interesting to hear Sonny and Christopher talk about how they deal with this because they deal with it in such a professional manner. Um, they, they don't at all uh, give in to the, you know, drinking and partying and, and they really try to keep a professionality, which is something I do now as well, but have had a harder time doing in the past. As an artist, you have to know how to talk to people because we are all here to help ourselves in this school. I use the word help because we are here to help ourselves, value for value. I'm trying to be useful to you, you're trying to be useful to me, I'm trying to add to you, you're trying to add to me. So we can all work together and do great things as an artist. So thanks Francine for hosting tonight's discussion. What did you enjoy most about it? Um, I enjoyed all of the really different perspectives that we had on there. I thought it was really interesting to have two artists and then someone from a journalistic background and then someone from a charity background, but very much with the eyes on the topic in focus. So yeah, I thought we got some really interesting ideas, some quite different ideas. And then when the audience got involved as well, that was great because that brought in even more perspectives. I think it just goes to show what a broad and tricky subject mental health in the creative industries can be. And is there anything that you feel that you would have liked to have discussed tonight? Um, we were going to talk about um, sort of burning out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And just, uh, just ways to figure out if you're on a path to, yeah. a, to a bad place, you know, that kind of thing. What, how to spot triggers, how to figure out if you're, if you're not feeling good about something and, and sort of the dangers of pushing yourself to a point where you lose perspective and you lose passion and you lose the energy to focus. Um, but it, maybe it's a good thing that we didn't get to that point because we brought up a lot of very practical things instead. So hopefully we talked about enough things today to stop people from getting to that point anyway. I want to say a big thank you and uh, congratulations for doing dialogues. It, I feel like it provided a lot of value to the school. And um, for the first time you did it, it was on electronic music and women in the industry. And this time it's on um, mental health. So what impact do you feel, feel that it's had in the school? Um, I think, uh, I think we saw a lot of uh, positive impact from the first series, um, really direct impact um, of creating a community within, this, within the school um, for the women in music production as well as externally. Um, this time the impact has been, it's been really positive to see how open the students are to having this conversation and how uh, much they wanted it. Um, it's been an issue that we've been aware of for since opening. It's something that's a really big issue within the school, um, obviously in the wider community. And I think their attitude towards talking about it is probably one of the uh, most rewarding things about it. And so what's in store next for Dialogues? Uh, next we're going to talk about diversity and culture. Um, at the moment we have uh, 55 different countries, so it's a great place to start. Um, it could be, on paper, 55 countries might sound like artistic um, magic, but what does that mean in reality when you have so many different cultures together? How do they work together? Um, what can we celebrate? What how do we make it work better? Thanks for tuning in into our discussions over the past few months. If any of the issues have affected you, please visit our blog where you can find more resources. In the meantime, stay tuned for the next series of dialogues. <laughs>